It's another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertiathon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby, so bargaining. Hiya, buddy. Oh, bargaining. <laughs> 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 Well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boots are untied. Hold my poles, Woodpecker. Get set. Woodpecker, my poles. Here you go. Some ski vax. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick, but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Oof, tongue. Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> Wally get through that. Oh, ogly mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Oh, woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, hello? 
this is folly. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Voidpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> There's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! The world's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Do marketing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact. Fiction or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> The fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done.
scout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! some people. Listen, Beb. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it. And some of these long johns, too. I'll be back, though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on him. Stay there. A Keep a me word? focused. Please, Mr. We'll get a Penguin. reverse angle later on. Please. Order. Order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker. Please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to health. In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. You please the mole, or it's life in prison. Oh, Ferd. Ouch! Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? 
Wally will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? There. Is that better? <laughs> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh Mahi Mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mahi Mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The fumes flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this Molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> Wally! Hurry up! <laughs> As the Grand Rises is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! <laughs> Yump and yiminy. Why don't you wait a moment, you big... that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, Walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Would you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh, and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter? So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back 
to health. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> Professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of dough stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got work to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch! Bring on the babies, bring on the bucks, hang on nanny and a hot cha-cha. Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer. Wow, that was fast. Coming! Hello? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby. Snacky-wacky, baby-waby. <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his babysitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! Better try and take whatever I can. Hold on, little guy. I'll be there in a minute. I'm coming, big ugly baby. Here you go. Yummy, huh? Smells like baby needs a diaper change. Ah, <laughs> oh, fooey. I don't have any diapers. But I bet I can make some. Huh? Here's your diaper. And it's self-adhesive, too. Woo-hoo! To change diaper, take bold C to slot F, then tuck tab A into... Ah, forget it. Let's see here. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Nope again. Maybe this way. Hmm, no good. There. Doesn't that feel better? <laughs> Here, baby. You play nice with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Baby. In fact, that's Buzz. 
buzzard. I'd recognize that hairy back anywhere. Oh, baby! <gasps> Is baby tired from playing baby games? Goodness, will you look at that? It's nap time. Sleep tight, little baby. Oh, by the way, I uh, don't have a teddy bear, so I got you the next best thing. A real live badger. <laughs> Pleasant dreams! <laughs> yes, officer. The third house on the left. Oh, and don't forget the reward money. <laughs> Oh, please, Mr. Policeman, you gotta arrest me. I want to go to jail. Look, I'm no baby. See, I'm Buzz Buzzard, convicted felon. Please don't leave me with that wacky woodpecker. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to get back to that pokey. Yep. Peanut butter sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! it cost to heat this can? Look, unless you're paying the bill, keep the door closed. Yeesh. Hey, hey, watch it! You can poke an eye out with that thing. Ready to fish, boys? Come on, let's get out of this ice box. And now, a special message from Clive's Cut Rate Bait. Are you hungry? You got a hook in a paw? Well, if you can't catch your next meal with Clive's cut rate bait, it can't be caught. And if you're not satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catches a fish. you to the items in your starter kit. First, our cut rate bait catalog. And next, my genuine fish fly larva. And finally, my trusty incubator. First, you ought to put them critters inside so they can mature properly. Now you ought to teach them flies tricks so's they can get the fish's attention and lure them your way. <laughs> Next, you ought to feed them critters so's that they grow big. Now you are ready to catch a fish with these here flies. No, please! You raised us! You fed us! You taught us to do this! <laughs> Don't give us the hook! Oh.
stage here. Who do you think you are, huh? Don't interrupt me. I mean, hello in there. Do you see a pattern here? Like something to do with the bait? Look at the catalog, page 12. Each time you send a bait back, you get a bigger piece of bait, right? So, send me back, and Clive will send you a bigger bait fish. One big enough to eat. Get my drift? Satisfied with cut rate bait, send it back and I will send you some bigger or better kind of bait absolutely free until you catch us a fish. Another return? Oh, uh, who is this chilly guy anyway? He's breaking me. Every bait I send him, he sends back. I've gone through every darn bait I know. Hey guys, huddle up! Break! Only bait left is penguin. He can use it for catching a whale. Only I'm fresh out of penguin. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing more satisfying to me than a satisfied customer. This rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control shack, yeah, you bet. One weather shack for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun, groovy, olive oil, a pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, every 
everyone. Plenty of fun and sun over here. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Ew! Gross! Hey, you guys. Why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay fade. Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. <laughs> Foodpecker. Now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, Who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? Saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you. <laughs> Now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Shut him down, or my name is. <laughs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. Scotchy lad. Uh, 
competition. Wednesday night. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. <laughs> uh, I is forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. Ah, all my money is in this bank and I want some of it. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie. Doki, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie. Here I come. <laughs> drink. I need a drink. <laughs> Oh, 
As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! Get my man. <laughs> what are you stopping for, pup? <laughs> Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. <laughs> ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> Oolong, my favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Try 
time to sleep in here. I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> To quote my great granddaddy when he was taken into captivity. is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat? That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> Gosh, what are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get you back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now, where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? Eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... Find it! She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? When a chicken has laid a million eggs, she is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying. Okay, okay, break it up, break it up. Get back to work, you lazy bums. Hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh, because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood to... I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. Jeez. 
eternal glory. Leisure. Eh? Hey, you can't do that to... <laughs> what are you laughing at? We're on our way to Nirvana, ain't we? Nirvana? Does this look like Nirvana? What the? This is it! I'm coming home, Ma! Mimi's chicken dinners? <laughs> They're taking off, Rudy. We got a jam. He's live! It's a trick! It's time to put an end to the slavery and make a stand. They can take our eggs, but they'll never take our freedom. Get her, girls! Ready? Aim! Fire! <laughs> Week's profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Woody! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. Back, 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 back